Okay, hi, this is Cole from Primalot. Um, having uh, relay issues. Now, um, the last one I, I had was also another automotive one, which is uh, a 30 to 40 amp fuse, uh, 12 volts. Um, worked very well. I mean, I've done a couple with uh, 22 hour, 34 minute prints, constant. Um, done five of them, had no issues at all. Pretty good, except other issues, but that was non related to the actual relay. Um, problem is, is, obviously, this is overheats, and we're having a conversation on Facebook at the moment on what would be the best way or best solution to hook up a more powerful heat bed to your ramp board obviously without killing your ramp board and one of the solutions is obviously relays uh, some of the guys suggest that's not the way to go we're just having an ongoing conversation so this this video is just to show what I'm doing so far uh, this relay obviously is conked out it's actually got that hot, it actually created a bubble on the top, which obviously, a couple of conversations, I should have maybe put a heat sink there. Uh, I haven't got no spare at the moment, so I need to purchase some of them. I've got this huge thing I just took off of a, an old motherboard, but that's too much. Can't do nothing with that, so I'm going to have to purchase some of them. Now, we're talking also talking about gauge wire and wire thickness. Now, uh, I did have some really thin stuff, pretty much. Uh, I used a wire that was on an old hot end for the, the heat, so I assumed that would be pretty okay to heat up my heat bed, but that got so red hot that I thought, no, I definitely need to go for a bigger gauge wire and this is all I could find to get to get my new track up and running which fitted the bill I mean this is copper wire um, we're talking not just strands we're talking thick pieces of copper there's actually about five nice thick wire pieces there running through this um, and that's what I've used to wire up the relay circuit uh, obviously, except for the switch, which doesn't really matter because all that's doing is just telling it to turn on, turn off. Um, the connectors are all stretched on this one at the moment. Uh, can I get this off? Uh, we are saying we've got there might be some bad crimping. But actually, looking to this, this that could be a, one of the, the problems. So what I plan to do here, I'm going to buy myself some new crimps, uh, cut this off and see if that is a problem. Because we do have a lot of burnage around that. The guy on Facebook, I can't think what his name is, I can't find him anyway, but yeah, suggested it, it may be a bad crimp. And that could be one of the problems. So yeah, I'm going to buy myself some new crimps couple of heat sinks and see we go from there. Got a couple of other suggestions obviously if this one burns out as well. This one is actually a 70 amp relay so you know it's pretty heavy duty. I thought this may be a bit overkill but I did test it a minute ago um, and it that really heated up still pretty much similar to this one to the 30 and 40 amps so I don't know I'm just toying with the ideas chuck this video up, uh, up. Um, 
got any suggestions, post them below, or if you're in the Facebook group, then this will be posted on Facebook. But uh, they're good quality. I can't remember what the gauge was now. But I know it, it's not it's not flimsy. It's a lot more than the gauge on the actual wire that comes with a bog standard um, MK pot bed and come from the cartridge heater for the hot end. So I don't know. Anyway, good copper, high quality wire being used to heat the heat bed. Um, I'll just perhaps the relays are not the way to go. Obviously the FET uh, can be upgraded and I did say I would, in a later video that I would do that. So I'm just waiting for an order for them to try and bring back to life the ramps board that had a meltdown um, and see if we can get that working and then I can experiment with other ways and try and find the best solution. Um, okay guys, that's, that's pretty much it. So, cheers.